This summer barbecue chicken dish is totally inspired by these new to hit the supermarket, incredible cherry tomatoes that are full of lycopene, which helps fight cancer. We have high cancer rates in New Zealand. In the Mediterranean, they're much lower cancer rates and they consume more than double the amount of tomatoes than the average Kiwi does. So there's no excuse now. Step up, follow me here, and let's make this dish inspired by the tomatoes and the incredible Italian caprese salad. Let's get cooking, guys. I've got some fresh chicken breast. I'm leaving the skin on with a really sharp knife. I'm cutting a hole in the middle there, not all the way through. I'm using semi-dried tomatoes, much nicer than sun-dried. They're softer and just delicious. Of course, my Italian seasoning just goes about on everything, including chicken, and of course, both sides. Time to get these beautiful New Zealand hothouse tomatoes cooking. When they cook, they will be delicious, but be sure to poke little holes in the top there so the skin blisters. I'm using Loop Line olive oil. They just won a gold medal in New York. Good old New Zealand oil. And you get those tomatoes on and because of all those ex antioxidants in that oil I'm getting some more and don't forget to season it with your favorite salt that will make a difference into a hot oven and they're in there for quite a while look in the description below and you'll see all the temperatures and times and amounts full recipes there I'm gonna cook them on the barbecue but you could do these guys in a fry pan and then finish them in the oven get them cooking for a little bit get some color on them turn them over you can see, well, yep, I've dressed for the occasion, team. Anyway, they're not far from being ready, so now I'm going to put a slice of mozzarella on there, which will just melt over the top. Tomato in the middle, mozzarella over the top. Slice it in half, but be sure to rest it for a good eight minutes before you do. Then the tomatoes, a bit of basil, some more extra virgin olive oil and a good balsamic that's saporoso that's been aged for six years in barrels 